How dare you? Hi -ya! I'm Vex Immortalis, I'm head curator here at the Forbidden Library, and tonight we're going to be reviewing Rust. Rust is an open world, multiplayer only survivathon developed by Face Punch Studios. Released February 2018, Rust had previously spent four and a half years being tweaked and polished in early access. Rust remains the gold standard of an early access done right. Face Punch did not stop there, no. Numerous updates and optional DLC have galvanized the game since release. Rust maintains a strong player base, but what is it that makes it so magnetic? As if reliving your 21st birthday, you wake to find yourself naked on a strange beach. An island sprawls in front of you, promising danger, adventure, betrayal, and pumpkins. Rust has all the ingredients of an amazing gaming experience. There exists horses, vehicles, many weapons, lots of consumables, and a ton of apparel in the game today. Gameplay in Rust is what you make it. While killing players is undoubtedly the most popular pastime, I personally had a lot of fun swimming around and diving for sunken treasure. I'd ride to the water's edge on my horse, scavenge a sizable haul, and gallop back home under the cover of nightfall. Other players really enjoyed making and decorating their mansions or growing crops with sophisticated hydroponic systems. Yo, what's up, bro? Can you kill me then, I guess, if you're gonna kill me? No, 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 I don't it's... like fighting. There really is no right way to play Rust, but you'll certainly have a far easier time if you have a base to respawn at. Rust follows a similar pattern to most other survival games. Hit a resource node with the appropriate tool to gather the resource. Use resources to build a foundation, walls, clothes, and weapons. You'll need to replenish your food and water, as well as tailor your outfit to the biome you are in. Once you have some chests, a bed, and a couple of locked doors, your first house is complete. Without this house, every death sends you naked and cold back to the beach. Shot in the face, back to the beach. Gameplay shifts from basic survival to the prosperity of you and your team. Resources can be stockpiled, and new items such as the highly sought after rocket launcher can be researched. So desired for their ability to breach the mightiest fortresses, and even take down helicopters. In Rust, nothing is stainless. Anything you've built can and probably will be destroyed. Players may find added security in numbers and by maintaining backup structures, but no matter the location, material, or built-in redundancies, every player will experience the loss of their house. One day you're logging out, safe in your castle. The next you are waking up naked on a beach. Welcome to Rust. Don't get too attached. The chrome plating on Rust is really the player interaction that occurs organically through proximity voice chat. Stop fighting! Stop fighting! The game allows trollish behavior, anything from political intrigues to stealing and outright betrayal. Chill out, bro. It's just a game. In many ways, this is a reflection of the freeform environment that Rust occurs in. No one has to do anything devious. The game up, plays the man. same on PvE only servers, but it is the drama of the human condition that separates Rust from its rivals. It's called Rust, not Trust. Can I help you? All? <laughs> <laughs> Overall, Rust is, for me, the best survival game to date. Many players will hate losing all their progress, and will loathe the juvenile antics of its player base. Other players, and I am one of them, will find the high-risk gameplay to be exhilarating. I give Rust 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Also, check out my other videos here on YouTube, and my live stream over at twitch.tv. Thank you.